Oh, hello, welcome to my first video with Beyond Light, ugh. God, sorry it's taken me a while, it's been out for like three or four days now, I did stream it for a while, but anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna review my first exotic, the no time to explain. God, this is, uh, this, oh, this comes back way back. This was technically called the Stranger's Rifle, you got it as a legendary from the Exo Stranger at the start of Destiny 1, or at the end of Destiny, uh, Destiny 1's main campaign, then they changed it. I believe during the Taken King's time, and they turned it into the No Time to Explain, an exotic version. Except for the perks are completely different in this one. And the only way to get this right now, unfortunately, is if you bought Beyond Light, if you pre ordered Beyond Light, you didn't get it now. Say so that you've got it now, you won't get it. I don't know, I believe it is coming out eventually to people, but I don't know when. I'm, I'm assuming uh, uh, the Extra Stranger will give it to you at some point. But anyway. I'll go right into its perks and we'll just try out in PvP today. Right. Fluted barrel, ultra light barrel. Greatly increases handling speed, slightly increases stability. Accurized rounds, this weapon can fire long distances, increases its range. Time slip, this is its new perk, it's different to what it was last time. At 10 stacks of rewind again, a small portal will open, shooting bullets from an alternative timeline version of this weapon. Precision hits extends the portal's duration. And fully auto trigger system. Holding down the trigger will fire this weapon at full auto. And it's intrinsic trait. Rewind again. Precision shots and shots against combatants slowed or frozen by stasis will return to the magazine. So yeah, basically what this does is when you hit 10 headshots without dying, and you can swap weapon and everything, so it don't matter, it will stay. Uh, a little portal to your little left side of your the uh, screen appears and starts shooting whenever it sees an enemy. It's... I haven't seen massive effects with it, but it's handy because it does hit some people. It's quite helpful. I like it. Right, we're going to go right into... And of course, I'm wielding... Because I'm a warlock, I'm wielding the new darkness power, Shadebinder. And I've got to say this now to make it very clear. My god, these supers are too powerful in PvP, they need to be sorted, everyone is complaining about it, and I don't bloody blame them. It's powerful and fun to use, but it sucks when you're going up against one. And, and that's what people are saying, and I agree, it is painful, but it's cool at the same time. I love these powers, but they are too powerful in PvP. Right, and as you can tell, they've changed to that permanently, I'm assuming, so I get Crucible Clash all the time now, so we're just going to go into Clash, guys. Execute all targets and make sure you're still standing when the dust All right, here we go. Sorry. I, I didn't even make a comment during that. I was just thinking out loud going, what am I going to do with this? All right, we're going to try this out. Let's do this. Everything's out. The port seat got rewind again times six there. And someone's coming, so I'm just going to throw that. Hopefully it freezes them. Oh, he managed to shot back. There you go, he got thrown. If it tracked a bit quick, there you go, someone got him for me. It's painful to people. I mean, you got a lucky shot bash. Fair play to the guy. I mean, I, 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 I would be annoyed if I got frozen because it is a really annoying thing, but very cool mechanic at the same time. But I don't know. Right, sucks that died that way. No. What happens? The ice day didn't freeze me. What? I didn't you freeze me? I thought he was gonna freeze me there. So sure about that. Staff throw freeze. See, it's so annoying. I ha literally have an ability that- Oh, there you go, I got my portal time cavern. Let's see, and now it should help me shoot people if you get in the rain. Like, there you go, shot him. I mean, I'm going, I'm going to die here because I, I got too aggressive. I don't really want to. Yeah. Show it off. Sorry about that. Dang it. But yeah. I I don't know what I'm reviewing here. Am I ever reviewing the shade binder or this? No time to explain. It's crazy. But it's a very portal boy. Portal. Ah, oh my god, I got destroyed. I'm getting destroyed, guys, laddies. Getting absolutely smashed. Right. Yeet, yeet, come on. I was having really, really a lot of fun with this gun. I do, I have loved pulse rifles all my, all my life in Destiny's lifetime. It's the main weapon I always used back in the Destiny 1 days, and to be honest, Strange Rifle and No Time's Flame was one of the guns I used, except for, like, apart from No Land Beyond. But that was back in my uh, interesting days where I liked to be uh, thought I could do montages. 
with a no land beyond and I did alright to be honest. Not amazing though. I wasn't the best with it. He's just gonna hide, dang it. Is that Ah oh, he froze me! That's the problem with hunters. I have one that instantly frees you. Hunters have to hit two of those things to freeze me. See, I love that portal thing. It helps me so... I love this time chasm thing. It's really ha handy. But it does hit body shots. That's the problem. I've never seen it hit a headshot. It's a very good... I like it. I do like it. Is it broken? I, I really don't know. I mean, compared to a lot of guns I've seen in this game, it's not the most brokenest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's just a little... Actually, it's pretty aimable, what am I about? What's the most broken gun in, my, in the game that I hate right now? I don't really know. There are a lot of broken exotics, so I can't have an opinion on that one. Okay, I've got all my my freezing abilities back. This is going to really peep some people off. Okay, he's coming that way. Let's annoy him by freezing him. See, it's so annoying. And that grenade, if people are close together, it chains onto them, and I can freeze all people. If I showed, if I recorded the game yesterday, I managed to freeze three people that were chasing me because I was weak with that grenade. It was absolutely insane. Oh, crud, crud, crud. Freeze! Ah, I missed! I didn't expect him to die that quickly. Oh, God. Sorry, I had a sip of a drink there. Oh. That tea it's important because I'm truly British. Uh. Ah! Revoker. Oh. Not really proving that it's a. Well, you're seeing the perk, that's what matters to me, but. Again, I am a bit of potato today. First game on, I suppose. I'm blaming it on the first game on. Eat. Oh my! I am actually really bad. The problem is with this right now. Gun lights out and everything. But you still find all these tryhards coming around with shotguns and stuff, hand cannons still. You, I still see people wielding spare rations. And that was nerfed down to the ground and you can't bring it into Beyond Light, like you can't raise its power. Beyond Light levels is good. Dang it. Risk on a fair play, mate. He might be a new guy because uh, new light gives you as you know. And that's the thing with Cosmodrone. I'm I'm kind of not happy. I'm kind of happy and kind of not happy that they brought back Cosmodrone in the game. Like, it's like oh yeah, old memories, but also there's no reason for it to be there. And yeah, I'm trying out. I'm showing you the super of my Shade Finder. I'm literally a space wizard, and I have to put the promise. Oh, fair play! He used his super to stop me, but I basically I'm literally now. A Everyone calls Warlocks a space wizard. I'm literally am now a space wizard. I am. It's not a joke. I'm literally a space wizard. I wield a staff. Like a mage. It's so powerful. I love it. I, they are just ridiculously powerful. And annoying. He's coming for me. You want a shoulder back? Yeah, I had to swap weapon though. Jeez. See, it st stays no matter what you uh, rewind again. It's, apart from when you die, of course. That makes sense. It's, it's got to be. Oh no! Oh god, please give me one of my freezing business. Please drag it out a little bit longer. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm gonna try and freeze him. Did I freeze? Oh, I got him! Yes! Oh, oh, I didn't. I thought I froze him. I. What the? What the? What, melee? What? What? You so much damage! Oh, come on. Rewind again. Rewind again. You tried your best. I don't, I'm, why didn't you slam the ground? You, tried, you should have just tried to slam the ground there. I, I got my time chasm from him. I hit 10 headshots on a single super. Man, that guy must be so annoyed. I mean, I'm not going to run out now, which sucks, but... You know what? Save me from that guy. It's even worse against supers, the, uh, the shade binder. If you're not using uh, darkness supers, you can still, you can free, from what I saw, you can freeze other supers. I froze a Stormcaller chasing me with my grenade and he looked so angry at me. He looked so annoyed that I did that. But he was chasing me, like, full up. Jesus. Delay much. But he was full on annoyed at me. I, I could tell, I could see it in, in his face. Oh god. I don't have my, any ability. Oh god, back off. He's just waiting to heal. He's being a coward. It's, it's fine. I would do the same thing. I'm known for running away from my back problems. Another one. 
You tried. I'll give you that. I give you respect. And now I've got time gathering again because of it. I love take. That's why I love trying to shoot supers. And it does decent damage. This false rifle does. Ah oh, no! Portal, save me! Okay, no, it's a portal doesn't shoot if you get frozen. <laughs> it's really that's the problem with that. That's what happens. You get frozen, and that's why you get, people get annoyed. They don't want to spam the V button to try and escape. And it takes too long anyway, you're just guaranteed dead. It's just a, it adds insult to injury, really. It's like, hey, I froze you, now you're almost guaranteed death. Unless someone's behind you and just gonna save your butt. And that's why I'm not... That's why uh, I think they've pushed back Trials to the 27th of November, if you didn't know that already. But they've pushed it back, and it's... I think it's because they're gonna try and nerf the Supers. Because they know... They, they know how m massively powerful they are. I don't wanna say they're overpowered. But they are close to it. Like, you still get people using, like, I don't know, Dawnblade and stuff. Freeze. See, he's annoyed. He is peed off that I did that. He was trying to run away, and I just went, nah, you're not leaving. Stop people running away from you, I guess. But it really, it's... But also, this help will help people a little bit. If you freeze the target, you can get... It helps you with challenges, like sniper challenges. Like, get sniper kills with uh, in Crucible and stuff. Like, maybe. But I'm not going to say it's a guaranteed help. You can still get frozen. This poor guy. Ah! Oh wow, the shat- I killed him with the shatter of the thing. The shattering of the ice kill, not my gun. Ow. But yeah, it's mental. It is absolutely mental how powerful these things are. Let's see if we can use this one more time before we go. I love the noise it makes. Dun, 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 dun. Well, you gotta make sure you hit, of course. Wow, wow! I'm missing! This guy! He's evasive! One you have this. That guy was evasive. That is a terrible way of showing how powerful the super is. I kept missing. Do you know, I thought I had a bit of tracking on it, but it turns out I'm wrong. He's gonna. You missed! Uh, yeah, I don't care if he kills me. You missed me! <laughs> you missed your shoulder bash! Wowza! Okay. Extremely powerful. Remind me to bring you along the next time I feel like brawling. Oh, okay. Wow, that uh, I was going in more then. So I enjoyed that. We'll go into the next game and see what happens, shall we? Okay, and this way. Oh, okay, one close range map. Okay, uh, just gonna see. I'm no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I gotta try out duals next. That's what we're gonna do. So I'll see an exclusive thing. We'll see in the hunt. Sure that's gonna be fun. Or I'll record that sometime. That was my another video. All right. Let's see how many people I can freeze by doing this. Eat. I'll throw someone. That was another one person down, but that was from that guy. See, it's. Oh, hello! That duality, speaking of duality, see, it's so stupid. These abilities, these shades, our darkness powers are ridiculous. It's cool, but just ridiculous. I still have another thing to freeze people with, and I know I've talked about no time to explain it, but I'm also here to review my bloody shade binder ability, and it, it's so freaking stupid. And I love it at the same time. Aye, 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 none of that, please. Oh, God. I walked into a trip mine. Ah, oh, that was so stupid of me. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't read it, I don't read it. Oh, not the best day for me, but hey, it's fine. I may not be doing the best as I usually do, or something like that, but I am having a blast. I'm having more fun. Because the supers are fun. That's why people like them. It's fun and powerful. Uh, I got <laughs> I got double teamed. I I was going to finish that guy. Okay, okay. It's fine. Yeah. I don't know what to think about some like the first grenade you got was this uh, this shade binder. I didn't like. I, I mean, I liked it and didn't like it. It was cool. For, it's more of a PVE grenade because it it brings a summon's nice wall in front of you. But also, if anyone touches it or gets touched by it, uh, freezes, which is nice. But I I was like I never really liked it. I always sucked at using it. And oh no, three one again times four. Okay, not there yet. We need six more. And, uh, well, the other one, as you saw there, was a big blizzard thing, like a solar grenade. It's a bit like a solar grenade, but, um, it doesn't freeze them instantly. 
and the one I'm using is like, in my opinion, the best one. I mean, it's a pain in the butt. It's, if it will, if you miss, it will track you, and if you're close to it, it will freeze you. And if you get hit by it instantly, it freezes you. And the best thing about it, it's like an art bot grenade. It seeks targets if they're close and freezes them too. It's insane. Oh no. There we go, I managed to save myself there. I got saved. Easy, easy to die, I promise. I really don't like. People are still a bit boring. I killed that guy, really? Come on, freeze him. Yes! See, ah, oh, it's so annoying. And it gives you a little hit mark and telling you that you've hit, you know, you've got them. Like the hunted. And I've got the time chasm, so that's nice. Oh, I don't know if that was me or I think that was the time chasm that killed him there, but sometimes it's a bit delayed. It's not like it doesn't fire as fast as you fire. fired. It's like fires, waits a couple of seconds, then fires again. Like, so you don't want to rely on it. You want to rely still on you shooting. Freezing. I missed. I don't know what to think about the hit section with it as well. That with my mate, my melee stuff because it, it sometimes is good. Sometimes I feel like it tracks them, but sometimes I feel like it doesn't. And I got destroyed. No time to explain. Hey! No, no time to explain either. I wonder when I was going to see one. But yeah, when I first came out, everyone was using this. Everyone was using No Time to Explain. Because, of course, it's New Exotic, and it's a beast. I just nearly got sniped. Jesus. Double down. Double down. Oh, no. I mean, if I froze him, that would, he would be pissed. And you can't freeze him, that's the problem. Bum, 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 bum. That w I love that little noise it makes when I cast it. It's, I don't know what it is. Yeah, there, buddy. Oh, I missed him. I, I hoped I could get a new one. I mean, that's that's what you gotta make sure. With my thing, you have to, well, with every super you have to guarantee, unless you're a Titan, because Titans is more like a systematic, really. But um. You really have to rely on freezing them. If you don't freeze them, you're not going to kill them. My shockwave, my secondary fire, that thing that I do when I raise my staff in the air, really doesn't do that much damage. But when I freeze them, no matter what health on you are, um, it's like a shockwave. It shatters you. It shatters you into pieces. I didn't realise. My right eye, that was terrible. <laughs> but I, I still enjoy it. I mean, if I had... But to be honest, I still prefer mainly... Maybe my Dawnblade still, but... I would happily take this into Crucible with me right, right now. Uh, with me, it's pr it is fun to use. Mainly because of the free, uh, my grenade of melee. It's cooler than my uh, other melees I've, uh, other grenades I've got. Time chasm, please help me. I'm gonna get a nade over that. Oh, that <laughs> my grenade! My time chasm saved me. Nice. Oh, you didn't get it. Cut by it. No. Time chasm. I didn't even have to aim that. I let my time chasm kill him. But as you see, because it, it's a little portal, right? Just right there, like, hello! I'm going I'm going to ruin your day. He's hiding in there. Yeah, you see him. Did he get frozen? Yeah, he did, because I think I cast si yeah, Silence and Squall. Is that really what it's called? Silence and Squall? That sounds terrible. But I know it's not, it's like two, like, ice pits. Gigantic ice pits. You're not going anywhere, you're frozen, mate. The thing is, even if you break out, you are on such low health, it's like a joke. Oh my god, that guy frees three people! That poor, those poor guys! It's just ridiculous! Oh my god. Oh my god, time chasm. Time chasm, yes. Save me. This guy must be hating me right now. I'm not even trying to hit him there. I didn't even hit him at all there. My finger did it. It's like a mini aimbot. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna back up because he has a shotgun there. And it's probably duality because... Everyone's using duality, it's a very good gun. Very good shotgun, and it just really annoys me because it, it's a shotgun. Come on, rewind again, time six, I need a couple more. Time chasm, yes! I love it! Any more? Oh no, run! I'm gonna die. Ugh! 
I would try and rely on Time Castle here to help me, but I don't want to risk dying next. He's got Dawnblade. I could try and farm Time Chasm off him. Try and get Time Chasm off him. Because, you know, they take more hits, more headshots, meaning death, meaning I'm happy. Problem is, I got a scout rifle. I should have really changed it to like maybe a hand cannon or something. That's <laughs> secondary. <laughs> to just cover my back at close range because this is—it's a pulse rifle. It's not good at close. I mean, with time casting, you might have a—you might have a slight advantage. Oh god, no time to explain. Nice. I like it. I love it. It's great. I, I enjoy it. All right, can I cast shade binder before I go? Yes. Oh, gotta be careful. That couldn't freeze me. Or is it ours? Oh, he's gonna try and headshot me. Fair play. I will respect that. I didn't even know where he was. See, it's so ridiculous. People hate. No wonder why people hate these abilities right now in PvP. How powerful! These were designed for PvE, guaranteed. They were not designed for PvP. Look at it's it's insane. Oh my god! Ask. Wow. Okay. First off, this is better than this. No Time to Explain is better than Destiny's 1 No Time to Explain. Like, they've improved this perk, I, I'm happy with it. It's literally a free aimbot. As long as you hit those 10 headshots, you've just got a little aimbot with you. It's not going to always save your life, but it's fun. It's it's an interesting exotic. I like interesting exotics. And that is interesting to me, and I, I actually enjoyed using it. It's kind of broken a little bit in PvP, but we'll see what happens, because Pulse Rifles are pretty powerful. And, yeah, like, on that, I'd have to give it, like... Like, an eight, like a 9 out of 10. It's close to being good, but it's not like over. It's not like guaranteed. This is a good gun to use in PvP right now, especially like Jesus Christ. That was ins I, I, I was having lots of fun there. Lots of fun. Which is insane, because PvP really bores me out and tires me out for half the time, but I like this one. This is very good. And might as well tell you Shade Binder. Freaking hell. It's stupid. I'm mainly going to say it's because of these two abilities. My Penorable Blast, which is basically my primary fire of that, and my Grenade, Cold Snap Grenade. You get three grenades, the Blizzard one, then that Ice War one. I got this one because I did bought If you want to get this type of grenade, you have to do the Born into Darkness quest and she'll give it you eventually. You have to keep going until you get it. Uh, Shade Binder, it's too, it's too powerful, I'm sorry, it is too powerful. I can say the same with all the others, except maybe Hunter's, uh, Hunter's Tomahawk throw one. They have a, like, sort of throwable Tomahawk, I think it is. They hit one, it slows you down. If they hit two, they freeze you. If I can freeze you with just this in one hit, why can't they? It's really, like, why does mine freeze you instantly? And why does it... It's... Oh, my God. Warlocks are becoming... Are too powerful, man. But, yeah. I enjoyed it still. It's more fun. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed, guys. I'll see you in the next video. It will be probably this baby, Duality. We'll give it a try, and I hope to see you then, guys. Take care, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.